There's an old saying that goes, you win some, you lose some. And that couldn't be more true when it comes to something like vegetable gardening. If you're new to our channel, if this is your first video that you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell button down below so you get notified every time we come out with a new video. If you're a regular viewer of our channel, welcome back. It's always good to have you here. So we're towards the end of September down here in South Georgia in zone 8B. And we're kind of holding off on our cool weather crops because it's just been hot. I mean, really, really hot for the end of September. We did have a little cool spell last week where we stayed below 90 for the most part. But this week's supposed to get back up 97, 98, which is just really hot and too hot for most of your cool weather crops. It's also been really dry, so we've been having to irrigate and water a lot and even do some overhead watering just to cool the leaves off a bit. And today I want to show you how I've won some and how I've lost some so far late summer, early fall with some of my warm weather crops that I like to plant for fall. Let's start off with the loss first. So on one of our previous two minute tips, probably a month or so ago, we showed you how we planted some Kentucky Wonder pole beans. And the goal was to go ahead and get those up and going. And by the time it gets cool, they won't be dropping blooms, whether it be just nice and right. And we'll have a nice fall crop of pole beans. And I've done this several times in the past, planted them, you know, early September, late August. And usually the weather cooperates and it turns out it works out just right. But the weather doesn't always cooperate. Like I said, it's been hotter than usual towards the end of September. So let me show you what happened. So this is the row. We planted about a 60 foot row of these Kentucky Wonder pole beans. And I got really good germination. Everything came up really nice and everything was looking really good until those really hot temperatures just hung around way too long. And as you can see, there's only a few of these plants that have actually thrived and started climbing up the trellis. The rest of them are looking pretty pitiful or either they're just dead. This heat we've had has also caused a lot of disease problems. And these guys look down here, see all that rust on those leaves. That's not good. And usually that is accelerated by the heat we've been having. So we've got a few of them that are climbing up the trellis here. But really nothing to speak of. Pretty poor turnout here considering how good a germination we got, how good these things were looking just a few weeks ago. Now, I'm not gonna wait around on these pole beans to turn around and do something miraculous. I think they're pretty much toast. So I'm gonna pull this trellis up and I might plant me some more in another spot. One would think as hot as it's been being that it means we're gonna have a later frost this year. We don't know that for sure. For all we know, it could turn around and get cold in early November but I'd like to think that this warm weather later in September means we'll have a later frost so I'll probably pick me another spot and try it again see if I can still get a fall crop of pole beans in here but it's not worth saving these guys and it's not to say that I won't ever plant pole beans at the same time I did this year in another following year you know, it's not usual to get this hot towards the end of September. So we'll always take that chance. It's worth taking that chance because when it does pay off, man, it is super, super rewarding. So I showed you our loss or the bad news. Now it's time for the good news or the win, at least so far this fall. So on the same morning that I planted that row of Kentucky Wonder pole beans, I also planted me another row of these wonderful stonewall cucumbers. These are a gynoecious variety, which means they produce only female flowers. And then you have a couple pollinizers in there, which is an OP variety that provides the male flowers. So those female flowers can get pollinated. And these cucumbers are looking fabulous so far. We're getting little cucumbers to come on there. I'll show you that in just a minute. Now these have got the same treatment as those pole beans back there, like I said, they were planted at the same time, but for some reason, 
these cucumbers are just thriving whereas the pole beans are not now we do have a little bit of a pest issue here that we're going to have to deal with until it gets cold you see all those little white specks on those leaves right there those are white fly eggs september is cotton defoliating and cotton harvesting season around south georgia and even yesterday there was a big airplane flying over here spraying the cotton defoliant on some of those fields and when they do that man it just gets these white flies stirred up and they'll get stirred up and they'll just flock to these vegetable crops like we have right here so we've had to start us a little spray program put some horticultural oil on them we also use bt to take care of any pickle worms we might have but started a pretty regular spray program we can't eliminate these white flies completely but with the hoard oil we can at least try to knock them back a little bit so they don't affect our crops too much the bees have been working these blooms pretty hard in the morning i like to come out here and just watch them do their thing and we've got cucumbers already coming on there you can see that little one right there it's about i don't know four or five inches long a couple days that guy will be ready to harvest and there's lots of them on here lots of tiny little small cucumbers there's another one right there and if we go down here i think there's a couple more that are even closer those right there are not far at all they're probably a day or so off so good production coming along here and it won't be long before we'll be picking buckets and buckets and buckets about every other day of these nice slicing cucumbers so you win some and you lose some but just because you lose some doesn't mean you should ever give up or quit taking chances gardening is a variable thing because the weather's variable and we have no control over it we also really have no idea what it's going to be from week to week but all we can do is try so we go out here we take chances we plant stuff as soon as we think we can plant it sometimes it works out wonderfully like these cucumbers sometimes it's just a failure like these beans but that's just gardening that's just how it works we're going to keep plugging along we're going to keep planting stuff we're going to take care of it the best we can and we're going to enjoy what we harvest from the garden if you have any failures so far this year let me know what those are and i would also love to hear about your successes that's the main point we should focus on here hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you next time